Hello, Silver fans. This is T, and you're in the place to be for silver education, acquisition, and entertainment. And hey, the place to be is the Gold Depot in Crown Point, Indiana. If you enjoy coin shop videos, be sure to subscribe. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit that bell notification. T. Hey, Rich, man, uh, thanks for having me back out. Ah, always a pleasure. <laughs> I had a comment from uh, one of my buddies in the silver stacking community. His name's Aloha Stacker. And he said, hey, man, where's Rich been? So glad to have you back. And uh, hey, let's talk some silver stacking today. Silver stacking. And uh, what right. precious metals in general. Uh, let me just kind of go through the rounds. Uh, silver, what's the first thing that comes to your mind right now? Still great investment. Uh, buy it now, buy the dip. Um, I still 150% believe that it's going to do something and it's going to do something big and uh, just keep stacking. Yeah. Um, speaking of buying the dip, uh, over the last six months, there's, it's been high, it's been low, it's been bouncing back. Is that kind of par for the course or are these unusual times, would you say? Um, I, think it's, I think it's manipulated and, you know, you got a lot of government stuff going on and you know you got a lot of banking stuff going on that <clears throat> it's it's suppressed and it's manipulated and i think that a lot of stuff is starting to come to head and you know i think we'll 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 see a breakout and, and i still believe that I, I i said by the end of this year and and i'm still believing that yeah um but i i do believe it'll be within the next year so that's a perfect segue to my next uh, you know, question, because just this morning, getting dressed for work, getting ready to go, and I hear on the radio that uh, by the narrowest of margins, the vice president had to break the tie uh, to get this legislation passed, but the green energy legislation that they've been pushing and pushing and pushing for had been attached to the Inflation Reduction Act. So obviously everybody wants inflation to get under control. They squeezed in the green energy. And for those of us who know about solar power and uh, uses of silver, yeah. that might be the catalyst that you're talking about. Yeah, it very well could be with the solar panels. And, and silver's becoming harder to mine. It's, it's just, you know, it, it's becoming tough. And then, you know, industries and, and whatnot like that that need it, mm -hmm. you know, they're having a hard time getting it too. So, I mean... The true value is going to come out eventually, but I mean, the 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 real jump in silver you're going to see is you know, with with all this inflation and everything else, and you know when when the dust starts to settle and you start to see the the true effects of the recession, is when I think that you're really going to see a breakout in silver. Mm -hmm. um, so if you look at 2008 historically, so in 2008 we were in a recession. We took a dip in the silver, 2011, we skyrocketed up to 48 something an ounce. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of repeating that same trend mm -hmm. as, as the 08 recession, in I my could, opinion. I, I could see that. How about gold? Uh, gold, I, I mean, I think gold is probably like the safest investment. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, you know, I, I don't foresee it fluctuating a whole lot up and down. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, a lot of people say gold is going to be, you know, for your larger purchases and whatnot like that. But I mean, I think that gap between silver and gold needs to come back down to where, where it normally has been historically, mm -hmm. that we've been so far out of whack for all these years now that, yeah. you know, me personally, I would invest in silver over gold. Mm -hmm. but, you know, that's preference. Yeah, and that, that gold to silver ratio, I mean, it hit the low 90s just a week or two ago. I'm not exactly sure what it is this very moment today, but it's up there. It's yeah. 80s somewhere. Yeah, and it, and it, you know, that we should that gap should be you know a lot shorter, and you'll you'll see silver should be you know silver should be fifty dollars an ounce right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, how about platinum? I know you have a special place. Still, your heart still for a firm platinum. believer in platinum. Yeah. Still a firm believer in platinum. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the people that are buying it and stacking it, you know, they're going to double their money. Mm -hmm. uh, let me ask you about uh, stacking in general. We've talked about the precious metals, silver, gold, platinum. Regarding uh, stacking, 
what's the smartest thing, uh, and maybe this one's for the newbies, maybe this one's for veterans, what's the smartest thing that a stacker can do? The smartest thing, I mean, obviously we want to watch what we buy and watch what we spend. So, I mean, the smart thing to do is, is to buy as close a spot as possible. But it also depends on what you're stacking for. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're stacking, if you're 40 years old and you're stacking for retirement, mm -hmm. you know, you might want to buy only Eagles, mm -hmm. you know. And as time goes on, they become numismatic value plus the silver content, you know. And then you got your people that are stacking like, like for me, you know, it's an investment. If silver jumps up to fifty dollars an ounce, here's my stuff. Mm -hmm. Cash me out. I'll wait for the dip and I'll buy back in. Mm -hmm. You know, so it just depends. So for me, I like to buy as close to spot as possible. Mm -hmm. Whether that be one ounce generics, five ounce generic, ten ounce generic, ninety percent. Um, you know, that's that's what I like. Mm -hmm. For my kids, you know, my kids like my my son's four, my daughter's five. My oldest boys just turned 13. Mm -hmm. You know, I buy them, you know, stuff like uh, like the Disney characters and the Marvel and the Superman and the Simpsons and stuff like that. Because, you know, over time, that stuff com becomes collectible. And when they're ready to go to school or whatever, you know, that stuff might be worth who knows, you know. Now, you mentioned the American Silver Eagles. Nobody's stacking those now because of those crazy premiums. Hey, don't kid yourself. <laughs> really? People still buy them? Don't kid yourself. No kidding. Okay. You can't, we can't keep. You can't keep them in stock. Are you serious? Yes. Wow. That's well. That's and and, and dealers dealers on the tape. So like you know, there's dealer networks where uh, like CoinNet and CCE and you know just dealer to dealer networks mm -hmm. where. You know, there's dealers on the tape that are paying six dollars over, seven dollars over, eight dollars over. Um, I, I just saw somebody paying nine dollars over on a sealed box. So I mean, they're they're buying them, they're selling them, really? they're buying them. Okay. Still the hottest silver piece on the market. Wow. Okay. Um, you know, they're 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 still hard to get. So yeah, people are gonna say, you know. Yeah, yeah, you don't want any silver eagles. You want to buy, you know, these one ounce buffaloes because that's what they have. Mm -hmm. you know? Wow, okay. Well, you used the, oh, the word numismatic when you referred to eagles a minute ago. And I want to tell my viewers a little bit of a story. Several years ago, I was stacking, not collecting, like stacking uh, Mexican silver libertades and American Silver Eagles. And I would kind of go back and forth, whatever you or other coin shops would mm -hmm. have in stock. I'd buy Eagles, I'd buy Libertad, uh, and they were around the same price. And then before this even happened to the Eagles, the Libertad started going up in price, up in value. They became, they basically transitioned from a bullion coin to a numismatic coin. Mm -hmm. uh, and I thought, okay, that's just because of the low vintages. Uh, but it seems like, I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, do you think the American Silver Eagle will make that same transition to numismatic or will that always be a bullion coin? They can, they can be numismatic. Mm -hmm. and, and I'll tell you, here's, here's the reason why. So like, you get an 86 and an MS70 or, M, or a Proof 70, mm -hmm. that coin's hundreds or thousands of dollars. Okay. It's a one ounce silver coin. Yeah, okay. You know. So there's and a like, market like out we there. just sold an 87 proof 70 online and I, I think it was like 700 bucks okay I mean it's just a one ounce silver coin yeah so so that's legit that's that's yeah I mean you're, you're yeah. gonna have numismatic value so like an 86 eagle if you go online the cheapest place you could buy an 86 eagle which would be the first year they came out mm -hmm. you know that might be 45 bucks mm-hmm well, silver's only twenty dollars. Why does that coin cost twenty? You know, forty-five. Okay. Because it has Newman's make value. Yeah. You know, it's it's a legal tender. It's a dollar. It's a silver dollar today. Silver dollar. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's like Morgan dollar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Back then, it was worth a dollar, well, right? The banks were giving them as gifts and stuff like that back in the day. Yeah, they were just a dollar. Mm -hmm. You know, they were never numismatic value in 1920s and you know 1930 mm -hmm. 1940 they weren't any numismatic value to them mm -hmm. you know it didn't become numismatic value until what the 70s and 80s were you know mm -hmm. good to know good to know save those american silver eagles folks <laughs> yeah uh, uh and we mentioned libertads uh the 2022s 
Uh, have you received them yet? Uh, it's supposed to be in this afternoon, so oh, cool. uh, we should have them first thing tomorrow morning. Oh, man. So are you going to have any in stock here in the store? They, we pre-sold every single one of them. <gasps> We're trying to see if we can get a couple extra rolls. So okay. We'll, we'll know in the morning. Oh, man. Well, if I see that guy coming in, uh, <laughs> I'm just thinking of delivery. No, um, now, hey... Um, let me ask you this, we we chatted before we started rolling the video, and you've got a big announcement to make. Uh, are you ready to make that announcement now? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. So, uh, we're gonna start our own YouTube channel. So please keep a lookout. Uh, we're gonna do uh, not as much as like the stacking end of it, but a little more numismatic, uh, maybe some stacking, maybe some collecting. Um, but our prime goal is to uh, to be able to go live on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, right now we do uh, really big uh, live auctions on Facebook, mm -hmm. and our goal is to be able to bring that to YouTube um, for our, our, our followers. Uh, we get a lot of phone calls from your videos, you know, we saw uh, a lot of your subscribers, silver and gold and uh -huh. um, precious metals and, and coins too. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we like to do that on YouTube, and uh, so that's that's our goal. It's a great platform, and uh, Rich, just when I was a fledgling YouTuber, struggling to get views, I came into your shop, and I asked you if you'd make a video with me, and uh, reluctantly you said yes, and uh, those <laughs> videos became very popular, helped my channel take off. Great. So in, in turn, I will do my best to help you with your channel, uh, really be successful. It'll be my pleasure to return that favor. Yeah, we, we appreciate that and uh, we're still going to do the interviews with you as, as well and uh, you know we we uh, we love doing them. Well thanks man, I appreciate the time and uh, I'm going to do a little shopping around here. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. A special thank you goes to these channel members. They help make these videos at the coin shops possible. If you'd like to learn more, please check the video description. And now it's a time to finally reveal what I purchased. And I told you this was a silver stacking video at the beginning. Here we go. A beautiful old JM bar and a flat back at that. Hey, uh, please leave me a comment and let me know if you enjoyed today's video and if you have any suggestions for future videos. I'm